Hey guys, it's Wobrowski here today, and today we have a Polynesian house. Recently I went to Hawaii over the summer, and I really like the style of the houses there, the kind of modern Polynesian feel, and I thought they looked really interesting. So I decided to look on the gallery and see if there was anybody else that had created something like this, and there was almost nothing, so I was very surprised. So I decided to make a nice Polynesian house. It inspired me. So, this is also a collaboration with Simproved, and she will be furnishing it. Um, cause I'm not, I kinda like furnishing, but I'm not a big fan of it, cause it takes about 10 years to complete. So, um, actually you might notice she does change it to look way a little more Polynesian, cause I, I tried to make it look a little kinda modern-ish, but it didn't really work out, and she asked me if she could make it a little more Polynesian, and I said, sure, yeah, go ahead. And I think she she did an amazing job, and I'll put the link down in the description to her video once she has uploaded it. And she did an amazing job of making it look very Polynesian and nice. And um, initially I wanted to do that more of a Polynesian, but I was like, no, I want this to be more modern. But I'm much happier with what she did in the end. So yeah, so here I'm making a little bit of a balcony. It's a two-story house. And she actually, it's called the Grand Polynesian, as you know in the thumbnail. Um, she actually makes it a hotel, which is a great idea. And um, yeah, I put a, kind of like a water around it to have a little beachy feel. And it's a very nice house to see. So yeah, I was recently in Hawaii, like I said, and it was very beautiful there. And I love Hawaii so much because it's so great. And I actually went to go windsurf, so that was pretty fun. And I learned how to windsurf a lot better. I've been training to windsurf or practicing to windsurf over the course of the summer, but now I'm much better at it. So it was very fun. The water's so warm. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. It's crazy warm. So here you can see I'm doing the traditional Polynesian roof. Um, I didn't... It's okay, but I should have made the... Like the... I don't know. The roof... The little roof matched the the wide roof better, like it doesn't really match. See here you can, I'm trying to do the kind of the more traditional Polynesian, but I was like, no, I'll make it nice and more modern, but yeah, see, but I didn't, I should have left it like that, but in the end I made it more modern, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. So I am actually going to start a new Let's Play pretty soon, and um, it's going to be called Rise to Stardom. It's going to be pretty fun. I wanted to do a Let's Play because they, they seem really fun. And yeah, I want to do one. <laughs> so yeah, here you can see I'm doing the sheet metal roof. And sheet metal sounds so cool in this rain. My aunt, she has a sheet metal roof. And in the rain, it's like... Ding, 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 ding. Well, it doesn't sound like that. That's not very cool. It's kind of annoying. But um, sounds very peaceful. Tranquility centers the mind into the yoga of the world. As you can see, I'm trying to be like liberal. <laughs> yeah, liberal. Um, yeah. So, blah, blah, blah. now one thing that was very interesting is most of these giant Polynesian houses were in that were in Hawaii. They were on like. It was really strange. They're on government-owned, like, national park land in Hawaii. And, like, there's these huge, like, million-dollar million homes. And I was joking around with my dad. I was like, huh, you can't, like, do anything to it. But if you have a million dollars, you can build a giant house there. And it's part of the national park. So I thought that was kind of ridiculous. But, um, I don't know. It's not... It's, that's none of my business. It's none of my business. It's not my problem. So that was kind of funny. They have all, all their own private beaches, and of course, all these million dollar homes are owned by people who like buy, buy, buy homes. I've been watching this really interesting series on YouTube, and it was called, it's Billionaire, it's a billionaire channel, and it's just about how billionaires live their lives, and it's incredibly interesting, because they, they just buy stuff, not because they like it, just to show off to the other billionaires, and it's like, they're in this whole little competition, like, all their lives to have the grandest house, or grandest car, furniture, everything. It's pretty ridiculous. And what they spend their money on, it just, it's like, whoa. 
you could definitely spend it on something way more useful. So here you can see I am um, making a little bit of a kind of a porch type thing walk around. Thought it looked kind of cool. I really like how there's two separate buildings. There's kind of like a bridge in between them. Makes it, I don't know, I think it adds a little bit of um, ambiance, I guess. That doesn't, no, it doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Anyways, there is, um, yeah, here you can see I'm starting to, I added the pool in the back and I was like, wait, I could add a pool all the way around and make it look super beachy and it'd be really cool. So here I'm adding kind of like a little bridge that goes into the house. And yeah, it's really cool. Well, the, ho the hotel, I like the hotel much better. It was a great idea. Yeah, Simproof did an amazing job on furnishing it too. She kept it modern, but she also kept like traditional Hawaiian Polynesian style. And she really like, what's really beautiful is she blends kind of like Victorian with the modern and it looks so cool. It's a very chic as you can say, or so chic. Like my so chic boutique that I made for deligracies of thing like her for diamond's birthday to find the dress the dress for her birthday that was really fun actually i wish i hope she does more of those those are i like a challenge i like doing those challenges they make me feel good so here you can see i'm starting the bridge i wanted to add another pole and i was like nah i take it out so you can see i added that around and so in this video you do not see like much of the landscaping like the actual final landscaping because when i did it i had to go somewhere and my sister was yelling at me she's like joanna no, not joanna that's her name she was like no yeah we had to go and she got really mad at me so i was like Ugh, all right so um i had to go and but in the screenshot you'll see the final um the final uh landscaping i'm gonna talk there for a second so I add like kind of little beach nooks and like fountains and it looks really cool. And when Simfru does it, she has a lot more foliage to make it a lot more tropical. I kind of like went for the, because a lot of the houses, they had like these large open green spaces. And I was pretty happy, but I, I like I, like before, I liked Simfru's, Simfru's, um, well, I can't talk sometimes. Simfru's landscaping so much better. I thought it would, I think it looks so cool. She did an amazing job on it, honestly. I know I've said that a million times, but it's really interesting. Can't wait to see the video. So, yeah. Here I'm starting to put more windows in. I'm adding the thing into the back of the house. And yeah, it's pretty fun, pretty fun. This is, I, I like this. this what what I think is a good build is when it goes by really fast. When it when it goes by pretty fast and it's very smoothly, that means you have a lot of inspiration and you can really make something that you really do enjoy. So here I notice that it's not even to the other part, like that middle kind of foyer section or reception area. So I made it a little bit smaller to make it more even looking. Because another thing I notice is a lot of them, a lot of those big Polynesian homes are very even. Yeah, Hawaii, I honestly suggest if you ever have the chance to go to Hawaii, it's so pretty, just everywhere, the beaches, the jungles, just the towns and everything, it's just gorgeous and amazing. So you can see I'm adding in some dohors to the side entrance. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Really enjoyed this build a lot, it was really fun, 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 fun indeed. So I'm just turning move objects on so I can put windows next to the staircase. I like that staircase idea, how it kind of cascades up both ways. So, yas. Yas, yas, yas. I've just started school recently, and I, ugh, it's so boring. I hate school so much sometimes. School, like, limits your creativity, and it's so, like, freaking... Like, they're like, hey, you gotta do this, this, and this, and it's like, ugh. It's like, I know how to do this already, I don't want to do it anymore. Uh, I just wish school was more interesting, it's not very interesting. It really sucks. So that's my little rant there. Um, yeah, here I'm making a little more open space so it looks cooler. What's really annoying is when you do that, there's like that little line there where the wall used to be. I don't know why that, you can't get rid of it and it just bothers me. And then the, the foundation trim or the roof trim was coming inside the house and it just left it but that really annoyed me too so yeah here i'm just evening it out again 
and yeah, they're putting more of that kind of stucco around it, changing the roof to make it match. Um, I like the really dark wood texture. Texture. <sighs> Sometimes I'm like, William, stop and just talk normally, because I talk too fast. And I get really excited. I said this in my last video, but yeah. So, anyways, as I was saying, I really like the dark wood textures of the whole of Hawaiian like houses. I think they look very nice. So here, I think. If you hear the rattling now, that's my chair, it's like, really rattles a lot. So here you can see I'm starting the landscaping. The landscaping is so much different than what it is right now. Like, it changes a lot. So, um, yeah. In the screenshot, you'll definitely see how much it changes. It's pretty crazy. Um, yeah. I do have, and it's really cool because I make kind of like a little seating area out there, and like, it's like its own little jungly thing. And I was going to add um, some of the, like, that fountain from the spa day, because spa day would look really cool, but I remembered that um, I wanted to try to make this one base game and get to work only. And I don't think I use anything from get to work, actually, in the build itself. Maybe Sim proved it, but I think this is, this, my version's completely base game, which is really impressive. I didn't think I could make this just base game, but it still looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. I have a few other house builds planned up to go to. I've been kind of slacking lately because I just started school and I have swimming and that takes a... That takes a good, like, 12 hours out of my day. Well, not 12 hours, but probably, like, I don't know, like 10. So it's really hard to kind of... Unless I stay up in the middle of the night, which I really hate doing because I'm super grumpy when I don't get enough sleep. I really... I hate going to bed super late. I like... I like going to bed early and then waking up early. I don't know. I just never like staying up super late. I never could. I always fall asleep. So here I add those in. I thought it looked too bright and I didn't really feel like changing it. Like going into put a sim in the house and changing the lighting. But sim proved adds in some other stuff that makes it look really cool. She really did a lot and I thank her for that. Because without that it would not look as good. So, um... Thanks for watching, guys. I'll put the download to Simproves Furnishing in the description, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.